Hello, I'm Eli for Edu4Java and in this tutorial we're going to install MySQL and we're going to create our first SQL queries with MySQL Workbench. This tutorial is an update of the one we had already done because MySQL has changed the version and it has of MySQL and it has changed the page, the way to uh, download the version 5.6. So to make it easier for you, we're going to see how we can download MySQL and the workbench we need for our tutorials. First, we're going to see what is MySQL. It is an open source relational database management system. This means open source, that it's free and that is a database that runs as a server providing multi-user access to a number of database. This all this makes it a very popular choice. Okay, to install MySQL we're going to first we are going to download MySQL installer from this page here. We copy and we go to the page. Here we are going to MySQL installer download and download. Here it asks you if you want to log in. We say no thanks, just start my download. And here it's downloaded, three minutes, four minutes. Okay, while it's downloaded, we're going to talk about some concept. What is SQL? SQL is a language designed for managing data held in a relational database. What is a, dat what is a relational database? A container for related data. A database normally includes a software to manage the database. There are several types of software, but the most common one is a server which maintains the data. A program which is a server and runs in the background. Different programs connect to this database server and this server is in charge of giving data and updating them. This is the reason why we download a database server. The workbench, which we are also downloading with the installer, is connected to this database. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we nearly have it here. So, um, here we are. We open it. We run. And we wait. Here we can see that it's installing MySQL installer, which is going to do all the work for us. Before it was a bit more complicated. Please wait while Windows configures MySQL installer. Yes. Here we are. Install MySQL products. Guide you through the installation and configuration of your MySQL products. We click here, we can read the license term and accept them. Next. Find latest products, execute. Preparation is complete, please click next. Um, here I'm going to do the costume one because you can choose uh, what you want. Here it says it's going to include MySQL Server, that yes we want, MySQL Workbench, that yes we want, MySQL Visual Studio plugin, which I don't want, but if you want you can say OK, and the connectors which we need, 
and examples which are okay too. So I'm going to put costume to select uh, the server. Here in applications, I don't want the Visual Studio. Yes, the connector and yes, the documentation. Okay, next. All required prerequisites are met. Next, click execute install. And there we are, where we have to wait now. As you can see here, it's installing the server and the workbench that before um, we had to do it separately. Here it includes both the server and the workbench which are we, we are going to use to connect with the database. Okay, everything is installed so sex successfully. Next, next, next. Here we want a password. We're going to write root. Root, you can put whatever you want, but you have to remember. So root is easy. Doesn't like it, but okay, for security. Next. Next, next, okay, we want to start MySQL Workbench after setup, yes, finish. Here we are, here's our, our Workbench. Open connection to start query, we are going to do our first queries. Local instance, yes. And here it is to connect with the database, okay. The password, we said root, save password in box, so we don't have to remember. Okay, um, now we're going to create our first schema. Create a new schema in the connected server. We're going to call it Ellie. Apply. Finish. Okay, and um, this is um, a new schema I've created. Here in the page, we can see that there's a structure to the relational, relational database. There's first the schema, then there's the table, like for example, books, videos, and then comes the columns with title, author. So here, here we are, we've got our schema Ellie, and now we're going to create a table. We're going to call it books. We're going to um, create our columns, the ID books is okay for the first one. Then title, for example, next one author. and ESPN, the number we always have in the box. Okay, let's apply and we can see the SQL statement. Create table, books, the table is books, which is in the schema early, and the columns are ID books, title, author, ESPN, apply, executes SQL statements, has SQL script was successfully applied to the database. Finish. So here we're going to edit table data to put our information inside. ID books 1, the title Java for beginners, for example. The author Ellie in ISBN two, 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 two. two for the second one SQL in fifteen minutes Ellie three three three. Okay, apply 
another SQL sentence, we are inserting data into the table, insert into these values, these values here, ok, apply, it was successful, and here we can see our table with all the information we inserted into. Ok, this is everything for this SQL tutorial, uh, see you next one, bye!